The 1st of February has always been my most favourite day of the year because I just love the season of spring and I love the idea that it's arriving. So I'd like to share some of my thoughts and insights and memories a little bit about Bridget's Day. I've done a video about making crosses before and that's done really well but this is a little bit more about the biddy, a little bit more about the brat breeder. There's still so many more little stories I'd like to tell but maybe that's for next year. Thank you ever so much everybody and a beautiful spring to everyone. Gurev maha gurev So we're heading into spring. There's a lot of things in the air at the moment. You can see a flower, a little bloom here and there. You can see a, a bud just beginning to open. It's not there yet. The, the munin, the, the confidence isn't there to grow yet, but there's a lot of signals going on. And of course, we have the start of the birthing season of the goats as well, which is always really exciting. And you must remember for the Celts and for the people, our ancients and our ancestors, every winter was like a bit of a lockdown because they didn't read, they didn't have cars, they didn't have heating, they didn't have computers or television or anything like that. So every winter it was really batten down the hatches, stay at home, survive and make sure that your animals survive as well. So the coming of the spring was a real celebration. Can you imagine coming out of, of this lockdown or coming out at the end of COVID? So there's a great excitement. And there was as well when people were celebrating the end of the winter and the start that they could go out. Because the main thing that tells you what time of year it is, it's not what kind of weather you have. It's not uh, the temperature. It's the length of sunlight. And at the moment, we've started to see that the sun is now rising before 8 a.m. And it's now setting a little bit after 5, which gives great um, confidence and great feeling that, that the days are getting longer. So people would celebrate by going around with the biddy. And that means they would escort Spring or Bridget or St. Bridget as she went around and got everything growing again. Because I remember I was only about three or four maybe and I remember my sister sewing this doll and people often ask me how did I get into puppets and storytelling and mother nature and I mean this evening has it all because I remember my sister sewing up this puppet this doll and I was asking like what's going on what's going on so mom took me out to the back door there was a little glass window and she said look out there you can see Bridget passing and she touches everything and makes it start to grow again. And mom had a little white cloth up in the washing line and she said, she'll touch that as well and we can keep that cloth and it'll keep us safe. So the biddy, going around in the piddy, people, people would dress up and there was a lot of men dressing as women and women dressing as men and, and fluid genders almost. And I remember my dad was very pleased. He dressed as a woman and our neighbor, Jula, she dressed as a man and nobody could figure out how this couple was until on their way home, they used a certain cligara, um, a shortcut that only they would know. And it was kind of rules then who they were. But it was um, it was a very exciting time because the ran was kind of going around during the day in the morning and there was a bit of a bit of fun. But the biddy was a little bit more, there was a roguery about it, a, 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 a slight uh, sinister roguery in a way, because I remember like the house would fill up with 40 people wearing masks and going, hey, 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 around the place. And so the white cloth is called the broth breeder and broth can, it means flag or it can be the broth board, a uh, tablecloth or a piece of fabric, piece of eadhach stoke. It's usually white. Now it doesn't have to be this big. <laughs> I'm always, you know, it's got to be big. But I had this piece. Now this piece of cloth has been hung out down in Castletown Bear and here. And this is its seventh year. The same cloth going out over and over. So it's kind of um, one year gives it strength, of course. But a seven year cycle, is, it's supposed to be a little bit more magical. When the goats are kidding, I'll cut a little, um, you can see there, you can see, I'll cut a little ribbon 
off the brat breeder and I'll tie it onto their collar before they kid, maybe a week or two before they kid, and that kind of keeps them safe. And I would say a little blessing to the goat, and it goes Breed us on tinna, breed us on trid, breed lesh on lice, breed lesh on sprid. Cowardun in nish, cowardun fui lawher, is tussa on tirak, in nian is on vahir. And in English that means out of the fire, out of the fight, breed with the cure, breed with the light. Help us now and help us another, you are the spring, the daughter and the mother. And I would say that and I would, like if there was two, I would kind of almost see a, a light around the goat when the piece of the brass breed is tied onto her collar and that keeps her safe because growing up if the cow was calving mom would always have a, a, a big um, bunch of medals and scapulars and uh, a part of the, the breed's cloth as well to go up and to bless the cow so I've, I like to keep that tradition going and breed is a lot of about childbirth as well so between the brat breeder put out your white cloth tomorrow night and I suppose there's no going around with the biddy for a while until the COVID is over. But it's a great tradition of going around with the growth, with the, the, the confidence for plants to, to get moving and get a bit of growth. And maybe it'll affect us as well.